Unity Village Chapel. We are a spiritual community that is community led and spirit inspired. And it is my honor always to be the spiritual leader of this spiritual community that we all call Unity Village Chapel. I am excited, not just for the heat. For those of you that live in Missouri, you know it's been a sizzling hot summer. I'm not excited about the heat, but I am excited about our sizzling summer series. So Reverend Chris Jackson is going to be here for most of this summer and we have awesome guest speakers. We have Reverend Mary Wood, we have Reverend Brenda Errett, we have Reverend Jim Rosemurgy. You are going to have a fantastic summer Sunday experience. Our YFM is up and running. It's already up to nearly 20 kids per Sunday and I, I am excited to see what that's gonna be like when I get back. I am going on my summer time, my summer sabbatical, and what I know is that we're a spiritual community that supports each other, that deepens and expands all of the time. So I ask you on behalf of myself and the Board of Trustees and our staff to make it a priority to attend UVC this summer, to um, really engage in your spiritual practice this summer and be here to give, to contribute, to circulate, to let everyone know that this is your ministry and you are the community and you're showing up for it. Um, Reverend Chris Jackson is one of my very, very favorite speakers. So I have no doubt that it's gonna be power packed. And I also have this interesting feeling that we're gonna be growing over the summer. There are a lot of new people showing up. And if you wanna be a part of that nourishment and nourishing the new people or being nourished as someone that's new, come here, make your spiritual community vibrant. I am gonna be taking much needed time on this sabbatical. This is something that I didn't give myself for the first, now I'm going on about 12 years here, but I didn't give myself my time. I always had time, I always had time off, and I let a lot of it store up. I gave myself some, but I didn't give myself a real respite. And so what we know from last year, the first time of my taking this new plan of having a summer sabbatical, is that we were enriched as a community and we grew in depth and I grew as well. So I wanna thank the Board of Trustees and I wanna thank you for that support in giving me that time as part of my spiritual practice and part of this sacred role. So happy summer, I cannot wait till we're back. Um, that's the one thing about my job is that if there was a way I could just still come every Sunday and, and do that part, I would, I would still do it because I absolutely love being together in consciousness on Sundays. But I am taking the time, I'm taking some time this summer, but when we come back in the fall, we are gonna have an incredible experience. We're using a Richard Rohr book about belonging and um, it is a book that has touched my heart. I adored the book that we did last year. Um, but this small group series is going to be very powerful. So get involved in a group, um, jump in, uh, do the facilitator training if that's something that you're interested in. Connect with people, go out to coffee, go to Village Mike, be alive this summer and let it sizzle. Namaste.